Good morning everyone and welcome to CSBK TV and a warm welcome to the east coast of Canada. We're in Shubenacadie, Nova Scotia, not far from Halifax, and we're here at the third round of the Canadian Superbike Championships by Mopar for 2012. We've taken this opportunity this morning to have some east coast content and I thought no better place to start than with the champion of ARL racing here at Shubenacadie, Ronnie Monroe. Ronnie, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks for talking to me, Frank. Are you ready for a big day here? Sure am. I've been excited for the Nationals this year. Can't wait to come out ride with the big boys. Well, you know, it was a couple of years ago, Ronnie, I was invited down to do the, the regional race that ran the, the weekend before the National. It was at that regional race where you so impressed me with your starts. You were at an absolute rabbit off the starting line, and I came up with the nickname Ronnie the Rabbit. Has that stuck? Yes, it stuck. It did. <laughs> it stuck, yes. Are you okay with it? No, I love it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. How do you feel with that number one plate on here, Ronnie? It's a bit of a bullseye. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people talk about that bullseye on the backside. Yeah, yeah, and now I've got Austin coming forward next year, so that's exciting me. We're going to be talking with Austin Shaw O'Leary uh, a little later on, but he truly uh, is the next wave of the East Coast oh, cartel coming sure, on. And you know it so sure. well. He's it's, been chasing your backside around oh, yeah. here, I understand. He's right on my tail. We combined a couple of races here in the last couple of rounds, and he's coming second on both of them, right on me. It's really exciting. I often ask, a, uh, and I'll refer to you as a veteran here, I often ask veteran riders if, if, if they're perhaps making a mistake by helping out these young guys because I know you've been helping Austin out and sure enough one of these days you're going to pay for it. Oh yeah, like I tell him, it's not going to be this lap. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great because it, it helps me, it'll help me push my times, you know. I, I'd rather have fun doing this and lose to him than not have him chase him. Right on. So it's great, you know. Right on. And and he, a, and he can do nationally what we can't right now. Because but it's just not in my budget this year. Gotcha. Yeah. There's a whole raft of kids coming behind him as well. We're going to be talking to him a little bit later on. Um, Bailey, for instance, and uh, uh, Jake, uh, Austin's younger brother. Uh, Two more guys that are showing a lot of potential. Some awesome talent coming out of this place. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's take a moment for uh, and, and talk about the folks that have helped you in, in your racing efforts so far. Uh, Freedom Cycle, they've been a huge help in Kawasaki, Canada. Podium One Motorsports, which used to be Pro Tech. Okay. Uh, He's got me on the spot now. <laughs> we'll give you a moment to think about it. Pay to C&C's helped me out a lot this year, especially my nationals. They came on board to help me. They kind of knew I was struggling budget-wise a little bit this year. Uh, I think that might be about it this year. Yep, that's about it this year. Ronnie, when you, when you see the ranks in our, in our pro sport bike class, and you know we don't have large grids there, but we have some ferocious uh, racing, do you ever think that, jeepers, I should have gone on the national tour? If I had started years before I did, it would have been great, but I, you know, I've got a family and two kids to look after, so for me to take that much time away kind of takes away from them. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to get out to Toronto and do some select ones. But mm -hmm. I gotta put my time in at home just as well. So. Now, is there a chance, Ron? We'll see you at uh, Canadian Tire Motorsport Park for the doubleheader finale. It could happen. It could. I'd like to. You know, I've been there once, and I'd love to go back. Maybe after your sponsors have seen you on CSBK TV, they're going to see some value in this and uh, get you an extra few chance dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to push that on. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, Ronnie, we're going to continue our tour around the pit area here and, and visit with the other uh, members of the East Coast Cartel because, uh, as we mentioned at the riders' meeting, you know, a lot of the riders here are competing on, uh, virtually on a weekly basis. You guys have got a, a very busy series down here, but we never get a chance to see you until this weekend. That's just it. So we're going to take advantage of that. There's a lot of talent down here. Thanks again for taking the time. Keep that number one plate on the front of that bike for a couple of more years. Okay, yeah, exactly. I'll try to fend Austin off as long as I can. Make him earn it. <laughs> Make him earn it, yeah. indeed. That's Ronnie Monroe. ARL's number one rider here at Shubenacadie.